Hello everybody and welcome to another video and in this video I am going to be trying at least an attempt to do a Mario Party Superstars and uh yeah this game is definitely my favorite Mario Party game in the entire series. If it wasn't for Mario Party 8, yeah if it wasn't for this game Mario Party 8 would be my favorite but Superstars does everything that the classic games did uh, and made it overall a better experience uh, experience sure there is RNG involved but a hey, that's to be expected in Mario Party fashion so yeah I'm really really looking really look forward to this so let's not waste too much time and let's begin Mario Party Superstars shall we because like I said this is my favorite Mario Party game in the whole series right up there with Mario Party 8 so anywho so uh, so so anyway um, we're going to SL, so I'm going to be playing as Rosalina, obviously. Uh, so we're going to ask our computer players, they're going to be the basics. Is Peach, Daisy, and Mario. So those are going to be my opponents. And, um, the computer players, well, now, normally when I play Mario Party Superstars, I usually play on, on Master Difficulty. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to be playing the game on normal difficulty. So, normal, normal, and normal. So, yep, normal, normal, normal. Yep, all normal. And so, no, Mario, no, Mario, you didn't do it. We haven't even started the game yet. So, anyways, we have uh, five boards. Yeah, we have five boards. So, Yoji's Tropical Island, which is one. Space Land, which is two. Peach's Birthday Cake, which is three. Woody Woods is four, and Horrorland is 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 here is five. So Yoshi's Tropical Islands from Mario Party One, Space Land is from Mario Party Two, which is my favorite board in the whole game. Peach's Birthday Cake is from Mario Party One, Woody Woods from Mario Party Three is the only Mario Party Three board in the game for some weird reason, and Horrorland is from Mario Party Two. So yeah, like I said, we have two or two, we have five boards in the whole game because yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, we're going to be playing these boards in order. So, for this video, I, we are going to be we, I'm going to be playing on Yoshi's Tropical Island. And, uh, yeah, and, and so normally in Mario Party uh, Superstars, I usually play on 30 turns or 15 turns in, in random online matches. But, for the sake of the video, I'm going to be doing this on 10 turns. And because... And because, uh, yeah, because of, you know, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's, we're, we're, there's only gonna be like one or two bonus stars, uh, you know, uh, on 10 turn games, uh, yeah, we're gonna be having classic with, you know, the classic stuff. So in which case, you know, the rich star, the minigame star, and the event star, or eventful bonus star. And for the sake of it, we, yeah, for the sake of it, we are also going to be having the minigame help as, as to on um, for the sake of the video. And uh, Handicap is going to be turned off. Also in this game, we can also have, we also have cate categor cate categorize, or we, uh, we uh, let's just say the minigames of, of types. We can do these things based on category. We can do uh, family uh, minigames. Uh, uh, action mini games, Nintendo 64 mini games. In which case, I wouldn't. Rec well, for me, anyways, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't choose just Nintendo 64 games because of Dungeon Dash, which thankfully this is an offline game, so it doesn't really matter. We uh, GameCube uh, mini games and skill mini game. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna be doing all types for the fun. So let's uh, let's uh, so let's uh, go and let's uh, see let's see uh, how things turn out for Mario Party Superstars uh, on this game for ten turns. We've made it. This is Yoshi's Tropical Island. Long ago, a passing superstar met some Yoshi stranded on these very islands. The superstar stepped up and saved those Yoshis. What a hero! The kind, the kindness of the superstar meant a lot of the Yoshis. It meant so much that they stayed here, hoping for another superstar to appear. They've been waiting a very long time, but today's our lucky day. No, Mario didn't do it. Okay, uh, okay. Anyway, it's time to find out who's the next superstar. Let's get to it. 
But now that we're here, I've got some business to take care of. I'll see you later. Toad's in charge from here on out. You got it. I guess it's up to me to be your guide. Is this your first time playing on the board? Well, technically it isn't. It's not my first time playing on the board. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to say yes. Because, you know, uh, just for the sake of the video. Great. Then let me explain. This is Cantaloupe Island. It's a tropical paradise that's bursting with fruit. And there's Bowser right over there. This is Watermelon Island. Look over there. Bowser's catching some rays. Two bridges connect the islands. Pay the swamp speed and you can cross. There are, are there are Yoshis everywhere. They seem to be keeping an eye on us. First, we'll just have the turn order. And so in which case. Okay, so looks like looks like uh, looks like uh, Peach goes first. Daisy goes second, Mario goes third, and unfortunately I go last. So 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 just like regularly, as per usual, we'll be starting off with ten coins each. Alright, now where's the star? And the star is gonna be the same place regardless on Yoshi's Tropical Island. Here's the star! Be sure to collect coins as you make your way over here. You should be all set, so let's get started. Okay, everyone, give your best shot out there. Good luck and have fun. All right, so uh, so the game saves after after every turn. So, uh, anyways, Peach is gonna get a seven for her first uh, roll for for this uh, for her turn, and so there we go on there. And so here with Daisy, Daisy is gonna be getting a another seven ha <laughs> okay that's kind of funny i like how the two princesses rolled the same number now that's funny so mario here is gonna, is gonna roll a four in which case we have lucky space and lucky spaces uh random stuff will happen you can get an item you can get coins or mario gets lucky here on his first turn and he gets an item back and not and also to mention he gets a golden pipe, which warps the player to the star. A cursed dice block, which, which you know, uh, and a mushroom. In which case, uh, the cursed dice block allows the player, uh, a lot, uh, basically has it to where, um, where it, it makes your roll go to one to three in the next turn or, or, or in the same turn, unless, unless you use a mushroom or some other item that, that reverses it. So, anywho... Um, I get an 8 out of that. And so, um, uh, well, well, I'd rather go up. Because if I go right, I'm going to lose some coins, um, for that. So, I'm going to land on the event space. And, and, and basically, um, the gimmick of this board is that when you land on the event space, yeah, on the event space here, um, uh, you know, the star will go to to, to, to to the separate location. So anyways, our first uh, four-player minigame on this one's going to be... Snowball Summit! And so in this minigame, you have to mash the B button to, um, uh, to, to make a snowball. Then make, 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 make the snowball fast enough, or, 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 or big enough. Um, uh, uh, yeah, make, make, make the snowball fast enough and, um, uh, and, and make sure that it's big, which will knock the players out of there. And I like how, um, in the very first minigame here, I, I failed, which is kind of funny considering I'm on normal difficulty. But then again, to be fair, I haven't played on the normal difficulty of CPUs in quite, in quite a long time, if I'm being honest. You know, I, I don't even remember the last time it was. I don't, I don't even remember the last time when when I played on the normal difficulty of the computer players. So that saying something. I believe when I first uh, uh, played this game. Uh, well, yeah. Wait, what? What? Okay, so it appears that that um, all my all the CPUs beat me all uh, all on there like that is quite interesting and, and yeah it's on normal difficulty now that is quite interesting you know i like how like like i lost against all three of the normal computer players now that is kind of interesting 
So anyways, Peach is going to be getting a three, and and, and she's one space away uh, for the Bowser space. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! We have a hidden block! Thankfully, it's only coins, so that that's quite good, to say the least here. Daisy is going to be getting a, a, a three, just like Peach, so the two princesses uh, rolled the same number t uh, two turns in a row. Okay, so it looks like Mario is going to be using his golden pipe, which is understandable, considering what's going on, so... So, it looks like Mario here is going to be, is going to be getting his, his, her, his first star in the game. Um, and not only that, not only, not only that, but... Not only that, but yeah, he just had enough for the star here, so I better step up my game. Especially since, okay, yeah, okay, he barely went to the versus space, so he goes on a lucky space, um, and he gets seven coins out of that, and so, anywho, um, right here, I get an eight. Now, normally I would buy something, well, actually, I'll go on ahead and buy a mushroom, because I'll be landing on, I'll be landing on the blue space anyway, so I'll be getting my my, my money back, so... That's what I'll do. So we have yet another four-player minigame, in which case we're going to be playing Bumper Balls, which is a classic, a classic minigame. And hopefully I win on this one. So in this minigame, just like how it is in Mario Party 2, in Mario Party 2 your job is to make sure... Um, that they that is make sure that, that 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 you make your opponents fall fall off of the of the island that you are on Yeah, so try not to fall off Although I do know what a video game fan 5 likes to do is he likes to uh, go in circles Which is kind of interesting. Uh, so anyways Yeah, I'm trying my best not to fall off especially what happened uh, from before Okay, so Daisy fell off. Now it's up to me to get Peach out. Oh, I almost fell off. Okay, there we go. Okay, so thankfully I won that mini game. All right, so Peach is gonna be getting a six, and uh, Peach is gonna be buying a uh, custom dice box, which makes you roll any number you want. Uh, uh well, it was, well, from one to ten, and, and and hi Peach. Okay, so anyways, Daisy gets a five, in which Daisy is gonna be buying. Uh, double dice, you know, which is, which is, uh, which is, uh, pretty good, to say the least. And Daisy's gonna be getting a lucky space as well, in which case she's gonna be getting a mushroom. So, so that's quite good for Daisy in that regard. I hope Mario does not get it too, otherwise I'll be screwed. Okay, so he's curses Peach, which I don't even know why, considering that, that Peach can literally okay he gets a one because peach can literally reverse it in the next turn so i don't know why so anyways i need an eight or a higher and so i'm gonna use my mushroom to help myself out in which case i get a seven and so good thing i used it because i get a total of 12 spaces so for the for the lulls i'm gonna say no no and then yes just for the lulls Hi, Mario. Oh, hello, Princess Peach. Uh, hello, uh, Peach. Hello, Rosalina. I did not mean to call you Princess Peach there. My mistake. But joking aside, next up is Rapid River Race. And, um, yeah, back when I first played this minigame, 
Um, I thought you were supposed to hold A on this mini game because the game does not say mash the A button to accelerate. The game does not explain that to the players. So back then, back then when I first played this game, I thought I thought you were supposed to um, hold A because the game doesn't explain. Oh, mash A, uh, mash A to to accelerate. Thankfully, I won that mini game, even though I messed up, but I still won. Thankfully. And I swear, when I play this minigame online, I swear I get input delay too. I, I swear. Alright, so Daisy gets in uh, second, Peach gets in third, and Mario goes in last. Uh, yeah, I was joking around with the whole roleplay thing about uh, you know, Mario and Rosalina, so I couldn't help it right there. So, yep. Um, anyways, so. Alright, so next up. So, Peach is not going to reverse the effects, which I don't even know why. So, Peach gets a lucky space out of that, in which case uh, she's getting a warp block. And with that, with that item, you can, you can swap places with a random opponent, like it says. You never know who you're going to warp to, you know? So, anyways, uh, Daisy here is going to be using her mushroom, in which... Uh, you know, she gets a seven, but, but, because of, you know, that, she also gets, gets a star out of that because she used her mushroom, so, that is a good idea on her part. So, so, I, I just don't know why Peach did not reverse the effects of the, of the curse block, but whatever, screw logic. Um, anyways, uh, Daisy lands on Lucky Space, in which she's gonna be getting some, uh, you know, ten coins out of that. Mario is going to be getting an 8. In which case, now because we are, uh, because Mario is on uh, with Koopa Troopa, uh, he gets some money out of that. Uh, and, and Mario, for some reason, landed on the event space. So now the star is, is over on the right-hand side now. Let's go. So anyways, I'm going to go on ahead and, and roll. In which case, um, now I roll a four and I get some money from the Koopa Troopa. So I do appreciate that, Koopa Troopa. And I also get a lucky space out of that as well. In which case, now I got a custom dice block, which I'll gladly take. Okay, so anyways, um, Mario, it's, it's Mario versus the three princesses. And it's hide and sneak, which I do not like this mini game at all. Basically, in this in this mini game, you have to press the button, the correct button. So, like, if you want to hide the bushes, you press A. If you want to hide in the tree stump, you know. So, for instance, I pressed Y to to hide in the uh, you know behind the tree stump. And uh, Mario chooses the rock. He found Princess Peach, and while Daisy was hiding behind the mushroom house. Okay, so this time I, I chose to hide in the bushes, or behind the bushes or whatever. And unfortunately, he found both, da both me and Daisy, or Daisy and I. So because of that, Mario here won the uh, mini game here, and this is why I don't like I don't like that mini game. Apparently, it's better in the Mario Party 3 version or whatever because of the footsteps uh, that you gotta pay attention to the footsteps. Well, here in the Superstars version, it's kind of hard to pay attention because it's not very noticeable. Anyways, Peach is gonna be using her warp block, in which she's gonna be warping to where Daisy is at. And so now, Daisy's going to be seeing Bowser. Uh, anyways, Peach it gets a 6 out of that right there. And she also lands on the Lucky Space. And uh, she gets 10 coins out of that. Yeah, so that's what Peach did. She got, she got money. So anyway, uh, Daisy rolls an 8. And so, uh, Peach, uh, or Peach, Daisy has, Daisy has to give away money to Bowser. In which case, now Daisy gives away 13 coins, four for a pointless, 
Uh, um, tube. She also lands on the lucky space. And Daisy here is going to be getting 12 coins out of that. So, that's actually quite good for her. And Mario here is going to be using his mushroom. And I don't blame him for using that. Because, um, so in that way he can avoid Bowser. So I don't blame Mario for using that there. If I'm being honest. So anyways, um, Mario gets a mushroom out of that. I'll, I'll, um, well, hold on. If I look at the board, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to save, I'm going to save that up. So I get an eight out of that. And considering where the star is, I'll go right. And so I will only pay three coins for the, for, for, for the, for, for the toll. Alright, so now it is time for double coins. Or what Mark Leota says, a daily double. And what does daily double? We are on to Coney Island. Which I do know that this is Video Game Fan 1999. This is one of Video Game Fan 1999's favorite minigames. In this minigame, your job is to look for the shadows of the ice cream cone, of the ice cream. And, uh, so look for the shadows. And, uh, yeah, so be, so be sure you pay attention to that. And, uh, yeah. I do, I do love, I do like ice cream. Ice cream is definitely one of my favorite desserts of all time, so, you know. Uh, it's a pretty good minigame, to say the least. And, uh, yeah, the more ice cream you have, uh, the, the, um, the, the slower you will get because of how big uh, the ice cream is. And so, yeah, I won that minigame just fine. So because of that, I got the double coins. So that's actually pretty good on my part. So five turns are left. We're down to the last five turns. Let's take a look at the current standings. In first place is Rosalina, AKA me. In second place, we have Mario. Third place belongs to Daisy. And fourth is Princess Peach. Everyone's really giving it their all. This is almost too exciting to watch. But who will win? Let's hear a prediction from one of our board correspondents. Sorry if I butchered that. This time, let's hear from the spiky character. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Circumstances says that Peace, er, Daisy's gonna win. Okay, come on out, Daisy. Our predicted winner, Daisy's gonna be getting 20 coins, which really isn't saying much. Now that we're in the home stretch. Blue Space will give you 6 coins, which is doubled from before. The bad news is, you'll lose 6 coins on red spaces now, so watch your step. Also, if 2 or more players land on the same space, a duel will begin. And it's still anyone's game, so keep trying your best and don't give up. So, yeah, so anyways, Princess Peach is going to be using her custom dice block, and uh, she gets a 3. And she's going to be paying the four coins toll. And also, the thing I noticed about this board is that if you pay a certain amount of money, I think it's like 10 or 20 coins, coins the, 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 the AI will literally not even bother uh, spending money, which is pretty odd. Anyways, Daisy is going to be using her double dice, and she gets a six and a three for a grand total of nine. And she also bypasses to where, to where the um, Koopa Troopa is at. And now she's gonna be paying five coins in the toll as well. Uh oh, we have a duel between the two princesses. Okay, so Daisy's gonna wager thirteen coins. All right, which princess will win? So it's grand total, 26 coins. All right, so Daisy wins that one. I prefer Peach over Daisy, but anyway. I mean, Rosalina's still my favorite princess in the Mario series, in the Mario series, but yeah. Anyway, 
Mario is going to be getting a 6. And so now he has to see Bowser. And he has to give away 19 coins out of that. And he and he gets a cursed ice block as well. So at least at least he's getting something out of that. And he lands on the lucky space as well. In which case he's gonna be getting an, uh, yet another item bag, even though it doesn't really matter, considering you know. Anyway, he gets a uh, uh, yet yeah, a freebie. He gets another cursed ice block on top of that. Now that is something you don't see every day. Uh, or at least I would assume not. So, anyways. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, okay, well, here's what I will do. I will use my custom dice block and I will roll a seven because of the, because where the princesses are at. So I'm going to go on ahead and use a seven. So then that way, the, that way the two princesses has to see Bowser. Alright, so we have yet another minigame. This time it's the two princesses versus Mario Rosalina. So it's a two versus two minigame in which we are on to Catapult. And this minigame is kind of an interesting one. In this minigame, you're, in this coin minigame, uh, your job is to, it's not really that interesting. Your job is to just get the coins, uh, you know. So it's really not that interesting, if I'm being honest. Uh, I was just kind of over-exaggerating. Um... Yeah, and as for coin minigames, as for coin minigames, everyone is a winner in coin minigames. And, uh, and we got all 20. So yeah, in coin minigames, everyone, everyone is a winner unless you get zero coins. And also, Daisy is one coin short of the funny number. All right, so Peach is gonna be rolling a perfect ten out of that, and she has to see. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So Peach gets a perfect ten. Yeah, not Daisy. Peach gets a perfect ten out of that, and she has to give away sixteen coins. Uh oh, hidden block. Is it gonna be? Okay, it's only coins, thankfully. Alright, so now, so it's actually Daisy's turn, and she gets a 9. Almost a perfect 10, like Peach. She loses coins, all that. Okay, so he's getting, Mario here is going to be using a mushroom. And he gets a 1. But thankfully, because he used a mushroom, his total is going to be a 6. So good job on that, Mario. So Mario gets a lucky space as well. For a dueling glove, uh-oh. And with that dueling glove, it, 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 uh, you know, you'll duel an opponent that, that uh, any opponent that you want, which is kind of interesting. So anyway, uh, I'll be g getting a seven out of this roll. And because uh, Daisy has enough money to st well, steal, uh, you know, a star, yeah. You can also choose, you can also choose random. So if you want to have a challenge where, where you want to choose, where, where, if you want to do a challenge where you're, where your only, uh, thing when it comes to boo is for random only, then, then you can do that. So anyways, Daisy, hand up, give me some of your coins right now. So I so anyways so yeah Daisy's gonna have to give away eleven of her coins here. Uh oh, we have a versus space or what I call it a Pokemon battle. So anyways, uh, for this, 
uh, we have a versus space. Uh, I, get, I get three coins. And also, we have a 20 coin wager out of that. So, 80 coins are at stake here. And we have Tread Carefully, which is basically um, Shell Shock, but for some weird reason, uh, the people over at ND Cube uh, uh, cha changed it. And I don't know why, but, but uh, yeah, I don't know why they changed it. Okay, got Mario out at least. I don't know what uh, Peach, is, uh, Peach is shooting at, but whatever. So I won that one. So I got 56 coins out of that. Nice. All right. It's one versus three, and it's it is Daisy versus us, in which we are going to be on Spotlight Swim. So in this mini game, so in this mini game, if you're on the team side, your job is to is to try to catch the um the. Your job is for all three of, you know, if you're on the team side, your job is to, is to get, you know, you know, your opponent. Uh, but if you're on the solo side, your job is, your job is to try not to get hit by the uh, searchlights. Thankfully, we, we won the minigame, thankfully. So three turns are left. So um, Peach is going to be getting an eight, and uh, she 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 has a chance to steal coins, and which she's going to steal coins from me, which is unsurprising because I'm in first place, and and also and also the fact as well that um that yeah, so not only am I in first, but it's also because you know um I I have the most coins compared to everyone else, so it's understandable there. Uh oh, we have a duel right here against Princess Peach. So how many coins is the wager? Oh, it's fifty-four. So so Peach is getting so Peach is gonna Peach is gonna give away everything she has, everything. So one hundred eight coins are in play here. Okay, buying with me. Okay, this one is this one I actually do like. It's it's it's, it's actually my favorite uh, of, of of uh it's actually my favorite one of, of all these dual mini games. Basically, in this one, your job is kind of like how it, 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 yeah your yeah basically it's like Donkey Kong Country. Basically, your job is to make sure that you jump to where the vines are at and try not to fall off. If you fall off, well, you don't really get penalized all that all that much. Um, so yeah, there is that right there. Um, you press the A button to go to go to where the vines are at. It's a bit. Make sure you time it just right. And I want and I won that one quite easily. So. So, anyways, Princess Peach, hand away. Anyways, Princess Peach. There we go. Got me. Got me some coins. For a grand total of 149 coins that I have as of right now. Nice. So, um, Daisy is going to be getting a four, and uh-oh, I, th I think it's what it, I, I, th I think I know what that, I think we know what that means. Daisy is going to be getting a 16 out of that, or Daisy is going to lose 16 coins out of that, but uh-oh, I think I know what's coming up. Yup, the Bowser space, or aka the whammy space. So... Anyways, uh, anyways, let's see what what's gonna happen to Daisy here. What? Well, you're not. Well, you're not gonna get the coins that easily, Daisy. <laughs> so yeah, whenever something like that happens, where 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 it's where it's too good to be true. Also, looks like I'm gonna be having a duel with Mario. Um, yeah. 
um, if, it, if, if it's too good to be true, yeah, Bowser will just run away. Like, like it is in Mario Party 2. So Mario is only be doing a four coin wager, which is, yeah, it's kind of interesting how Mario's playing it safe this time, so... So that's kind of interesting. Okay, Motor Rooter. Okay, this one isn't too bad. So in this one, what you gotta do is you gotta go to where the booster pads are at and try not to get hit by the um, electrocuting stuff. Because if you get hit by the electrocuting stuff, um, you you slow you slow down. So try not to get hit by them. Like like what happened with Mario there, and also what happened to me too. So like I said, try not to get hit. Oh, oh, oh. All right, that one was pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Yeah. All right, Mario. Eight coins are mine, even though it would have been even better if you would have wagered, like, everything you had, like what Peach did, but... Um, anyway. Uh, Mario gets a seven... Okay, so I get an eight. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll go on ahead and go to the item space since 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 none of us landed on the uh, item space yet, or at least not that I recall. So this one, uh, so for this one, um, all right. So there we go. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give myself. I'll do a double dice. All right, so uh, looks like it looks like it's a two versus two mini game in which we are doing picking panic. And for this one, I'm not the biggest fan of this uh, of this mini game. In this one, in this one, uh, you gotta uh, you gotta press the A, you gotta like uh, uh, you know hold the A button or whatever, and then release it uh, on the cherries. But yeah, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this particular mini game. If I'm being honest. I, 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 don't, I don't really like this one. I, I really don't like this one. Especially since this minigame kind of has a bit of... Uh, has a bit of... It has, has, has input delay. Thankfully, uh, Daisy and I were, were, still, were still able to win. So two turns are left, in which case Peach is going to be getting a two. Daisy is going to be getting a four. And, and Daisy's also going to be rolling, getting on the um, item space as well. And unsurprisingly, Daisy's going to be stealing coins from me. All right, only seven coins, so, yeah. All right, so what item is Daisy going to get? Or, you know, she can just fail. Mario's going to be using his cursed dice block on Daisy, which is understandable considering that Daisy can't reverse it. So Mario gets a perfect 10 on of that, and Mario's going to be buying a golden pipe. So Mario better be hoping that, that he wins the next minigame, or he's not going to be able to use it in, in the final turn. Okay, Mario, you better be hoping that the next minigame is a coin minigame, or you're pretty much screwed. So anyways, yeah, Bowser is right over there. So I'll just go on ahead and roll regularly. And I get a 9 out of that. One versus three minigame, in which we're going to be playing on... Archer Rival. This one's definitely a classic. 
Um, so in this mini game, if you're on the bow and arrow side, your job is to uh, your job is to try to knock is to try to get is to, is to try to knock out the is to, is to try to knock out the players. Sadly, you don't get any coins by 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 defeating the other by 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 by, by beating the other uh, you know pictures or the signs, but it is what it is. Although yes, uh, yeah, if you're on the team side. Your job is to is to try is to try is is to is to try not to get hit by the arrows. Well, well, I don't care that that I got hit because we still won. So good job, team. Good job. Alrighty, so it is now the final turn, and in this final turn, uh, Princess Peach, Princess Peach is gonna be getting a five, and, and she's gonna be going, uh, and she's gonna bypass the thwomp, or or womp, thwomp, whatever. And so unfortunately, yeah, it's a, it's a thwomp. So unfortunately, yeah, for her, she she's not gonna get the star either way, and uh, yeah, so so that's unfortunate, unfortunate for Princess Peach. So yeah, sorry our Princess Peach on that, that, that she couldn't get the star. So anyways, Daisy got a one. Um, Mario is gonna be is gonna be using his cursed ice block on me, which I don't even know why, considering the fact well actually I do know why. Actually I do know why. Because, you know, it is the final turn. And then and then, and then the last and I'm also the last person to go. Mario gets a six. And um, yeah. So I'll go on ahead and use my double dice. Sure, I have to give away, uh, I have to give away my coins, but that's all right. So, so anyways, I reverse the effects and I get a nine and a two for a grand total of eleven. And so I have to give away nineteen coins, but I really don't care considering, consider I don't care. Anyways, I get a curse dice block. Even though it's the final turns, so that's kind of pointless there, Bowser. So anyways. Um, okay, so, alright, who shall, well, who shall I steal from? Well, I guess I'll go ahead and steal from, from Mario. Alright, Mario, give away your star now. No, I had to give away my star. No, no, no. Uh, but, okay, okay, I know, I know my Mario impression is, is not very good. I know, I know. But I, I I know I I know it's not that good. Okay, so event space. Even though, well, at least I know I'm getting the event space star and the mini game star. So I so I believe I'm gonna win this one. Actually, I, actually, 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 I I think I'm getting all three bonus stars actually because of the rich star. Well, that I do know I'll be getting. The mini game star, I'm pretty sure I'll be getting, and the event star, I'll, I think I'll be getting too. So yeah. Um, in, the, in this mini game, uh, if you're on the team side, your job is to try to not is to, is to try to get your opponent. Um, is to, is to try to get your opponent uh, from the coconut. Uh, but if you're on the barrel side, you're if you're on the team if you're on the solo side. Sorry, Daisy. Your job is to is to try is, is to try to avoid the coconuts. And Peach is doing a pretty good job avoiding them too. Thankfully, we still got got her. Alrighty, all turns have ended. Great job, everyone. It's time to announce the results. Now, who will win it all? First, let's go over who earned the three bonuses. The first bonus is the rich bonus. This bonus is for the fortunate player who collected the most coins. And this bonus goes to... Rosalina, which is unsurprising. The second bonus we've got is the mini game bonus. This this bonus for the top tier player who got first place the most in mini games, and the bonus goes to me, unsurprisingly as well. And last but certainly not least is the third bonus, eventful bonus. This bonus for the lively player who landed on the most event spaces. The bonus goes to me as well. So I got all three bonus stars. Nice. And that brings us to our final announcement. And the winner is, even though we already know who won for a fact, we already know that. Rosalina! First place.
Nice! I knew you had it in you, Rosalina! Congratulations! If I had to guess, your only strategy involved coming out on top in minigames. Daisy takes second place. Not quite first, but still great showing. Seems you stopped on a lot of Bowser spaces. Good job standing up to Bowser. You're the bravest of all. Third place goes to Mario. Can you believe that effort? You used so many items I can hardly keep track of them all. Fourth place goes to Peach. You suck it through to the very end. You found more hidden blocks than anyone else. You rank first in luck. Everyone sure gave it their all. Without further ado, let's check the final results. So, yep, um, that is the game right there. Awesome, and th th that was a good a good way to start off the videos of Mario Party Superstars, so we can even upload this one. So, um, yeah, so it looks like, I, yeah, the mini, yeah, 321 coins and minigames collected. Um, number, uh, uh minigames, uh, coins collected was 100, so yeah, so I collect, sorry, I collected a total of 321 coins and number of minigames collected was, was, a uh, hundred coins exactly, which is kind of interesting. Um, uh, Mario got the, um, um, Mario got, bought two items, Mario used nine items, um, um, I, I got a, I moved 83 spaces, while Peach, uh, got the least amount of spaces, um, uh, so, um, anyway, um, uh, looks like, uh, the two princesses, uh, landed on, landed on, um, you know, uh, uh, two of the red spaces. Um, looks like uh, uh, Daisy and I, we both landed on item spaces once, and I landed on three event spaces. Um, Mario got, landed on four lucky spaces, Daisy landed on one Bowser space, and I landed on one versus space, and there we, and also the stickers, uh, I, might, I, I might show them off um, in, in a later video. But there you guys have it, everyone. That was Mario Party Superstars on Yoshi's Tropical Island, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give the video a like. If you want to subscribe to our channel, subscribe. If you want to subscribe to our channel, let us know when I'm doing a video or streaming, subscribe and click the bell icon, so that way you guys will know when I'm doing a video or, or when I'm doing a stream. And until next time, Video Game Fan 96 is out of here. Bye, everyone. See you whenever I feel up to it, and well, peace out, everybody. Peace out.